We never really talked about math in JavaScript. I don't mean like the concept of math in general, I mean the actual math object, which has a wide variety of helpful methods attached to it. We're going to fix that today by covering some of those methods. We're going to generate an array of random numbers, we're going to round some of them up, some of them down, and some of them by the if it's 0.5 or above, round up, otherwise round down approach. Then we're going to find the largest and smallest numbers in the array. Sound easy? It is! Let's get started generating that data. Okay, so we're using math.random, which generates a random number between 0 and 1 that looks a little bit like this. Not so useful if we're going to be rounding, right? Every number would either round to 0 or 1. Well, that's okay because, as you can see, we make an adjustment, multiplying the numbers by 100, in order to give you something that looks a little bit more like this. Now rounding makes a lot more sense. So let's take a look at our original array. That's uh, unwieldy. First, let's manually round the first number up, regardless of whether the decimal is below 0.5 or not. Then we'll manually round the second number down, again, regardless of what the decimal is. Here's how. Save that and refresh. And as you can see, we now have 4 and 74, when initially we were at 3.66 and 74.33. That's a bad example, though, because both of those would have rounded correctly with math.round. So let's fresh. There's a 91.3, but it gets rounded up to 92, because we specifically did math.seal. And then there's a 30.21. Well, again, that would round to 30 either way. There's a 79.73 that gets rounded to 79, because we did math.floor. That's kind of tedious though, so let's just iterate over the whole array and let math handle it by using the round method, which will round up if the decimal is 0.5 or higher, and round down if it's below that. Here we go. Save that. There we go. That's a lot better. As you can see, running integers, which is what we've turned our first two items into, through math.round does nothing to them so we didn't even need to write a check for that in our code. This would be true even if, by extreme luck, you managed to randomly generate an integer. For example, if math.random initially gave you 0 0.63000000000000, etc., which is technically possible, although not particularly probable. Cool. So now we have an array full of integers. That's nice and clean. Let's find the largest and smallest ones. Again, we'll lean on math here, and again, it'll be easy to do. Here's the code. Go ahead and save that. And as we can see, our smallest number in this particular random array is 6, and our largest is 98, which actually occurs three separate times. Array, random order. One thing to note here, math.min and math.max do not take arrays as arguments. They instead take as many numbers as you want to give them, each passed as an argument. Fortunately, we can just use the spread operator, see JS Quick Hits 8 to easily convert our array into a list of values passed as arguments. Hooray, ES2015! So there we go. Short, simple tutorial this week, but sometimes that's a nice thing. There are several more math methods, but they tend to be more specialized. Sines and cosines, powers, absolute numbers. Useful for sure, but I suspect they're not as relevant to most closed brace supporters. If I'm wrong, and you'd like to see a tutorial on those, don't hesitate to ask. Catch you next week.